Okay, sweet. So that video was from pretty much like exactly a year ago. Uh, not a whole lot has changed. I mean, we've obviously grown, and I have definitely gotten significantly more attractive. Um, I guess the only thing to really add to, uh, to that video is to really like kind of expand on how like right now Noveo is is uh, really building out in e-commerce, but the the vision has us growing in to multiple industries. Take the same team of people, you know, create different little sections of the team, and then expand into all kinds of different industries. So, for example, we're now into real estate, um, and we're going to expand into that with some like pretty badass like Airbnb, like niche uh, Airbnb ideas all over the world. Uh, I'll go ahead and share some shit with you guys so you can like get an idea of like how creative and badass we are. So we want to create like basically. Uh, Think of like MTV Real World, like the houses, how they were rigged up with cameras and microphones and shit like that. So rig up Airbnbs like that for the purpose of uh, content creation, because we found that like the best conversations happen, you know, organically. So to be able to capture organic content while you know a team of people or even just like you know a couple of business partners or whatever are all living and sharing in some like badass. Airbnb experience somewhere sweet in the world. Um, so real estate and even on the less sexy side, we are soon to be launching, currently I'm mapping out a business uh, strategy for a government sourcing contract business, which yeah, totally isn't sexy at all, but the, uh, the US government throws a shit ton of money at really dumb shit, so it may as well go to us is basically the, the premise there. Um, but anyway, so the reason why it's worth you guys understanding that is because like the the central theme of all of this is the Noveo community and uh, essentially me and maybe some other uh, owners and really whoever wants to be a voice of Noveo, which means we need to really start investing in building our our team or community brand, Noveo, and then obviously my my personal brand. So uh, and that just involves, well, as you know, like, you know, everything from like authoring books, podcasts, you know, these kinds of things, but even at uh, doing public speaking events, that kind of stuff. Um, but it really all starts with just building like a little bit of a social media presence. So that would be, you know, just you, the basics, you know, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, etc. So that's ultimately where this role comes in that we are recruiting right now. So. This video, I'm gonna speak specifically to, to Bali, but ultimately what we are looking to do is expand and build maybe somewhat of like a, a travel team in general, because I am a, a nomad. Um, I never really spend more than one, maybe two months in one place at a time. Um, I spend a lot of my time in various areas of Mexico. I'm currently in Puerto Rico, where I'm gonna to have to be spending uh, a decent amount of time each year moving forward because we moved our taxes here. So part of that requirement is for me to spend uh, a chunk of time each year here and then uh, you know Southeast Asia I absolutely love uh, I'll be doing Europe later this summer into the fall uh, but really uh, I got uh, Cape Town South Africa is on the list kind of soon and then there's a few other little spots I want to go to as well like Brazil uh, Kenya um, anywhere that looks awesome <laughs> so uh, this video is going to be really about specifically recruiting uh, this this travel team for Bali I'll be in Bali Probably by the time you're watching this, June 4th, I land, and I'll be there until about mid-July before I bounce over to Europe for uh, for Tomorrowland Music Festival. Um, but uh, so yeah, what we're looking for in Bali is basically it's hard to describe, or maybe it's not. Maybe maybe this is exactly you, but I want to differentiate this from just hiring a photographer or a videographer because we're not looking to just go and schedule like photo shoots. Instead what we're looking to do is basically, I mean internally in our team we're laughing about it. Like it's like basically, Brandon, you just need like an Instagram girlfriend. You know, someone that you're gonna like live with throughout the day, you know, spend a chunk of time with, uh, you know, occasionally like doing your own thing, but then also whenever anything looks exciting or we go do something cool, gathering content of that thing. So um so yeah, that's, that's basically what it looked like. It'd be a very, very unstructured, uh, it doesn't have to be every single day or anything like that. Like really it's whatever's around your schedule, but basically we would be spending uh, a chunk of time together throughout the day, multiple days, um, and really just like gathering content through 
and this is where you come in through your lens of whatever you think would be interesting to create content, whether it be anything from like story content to content that can be chopped up for reels to um, YouTube videos. So like me personally, if ever I'm doing content like in this way, uh, just like direct selfie video style, I'm very long winded. I communicate lots. <clears throat> um, I, I do a lot of creative writing. When I write, I write really long form stuff. So basically what we're going to be doing is building a team that can chop up this raw content creation and use it for literally shit tons of different stuff. So what your role would be, like th the thing that we absolutely need is boots on the ground, face-to-face -face interaction of someone gathering raw content. Now after that, there's all these other you know things that we need to do with that content, but that doesn't have to be you. A lot of that can be done remotely. For example, we could just be for creating story curation, we could just be uploading raw content to like a Google Photos folder, and uh, some other of our social media team members could be, you know, every day pulling from that content and creating stories to post for the next day. So basically, like, it'd be like a 24 hour delay in producing stories. But if you are a story curator, then you could also just be doing that on your own. So, uh, yeah, going back to what we need and like to kind of picture what this would look like, it could be anything from like, you know, hey, we should probably get some content of what your morning routine is like. You know, I wake up early, so it's like, okay, let's uh, let's start tomorrow, come over early to my villa, and let's gather, just, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna live my life, do my thing, and you gather content about it. All right, sweet. Um, other things can be a little bit more specific and um, like a little structured. So like, uh, I'm gonna have, we're gonna have a bunch of our products. So we have like 10 different product brands. I'm gonna have a bunch of the products from various brands in Bali with me. You can get videos of using it, shit like that. You can use it. We can get videos of using it, all that kind of stuff. Um, content at the gym, just going out normal like day-to-day -day life, like travel video style. So um, all that type of shit. And it's basically like, okay, well, what's your personal brand gonna be about? Well, in general, you know, normal personal brand like business strategy is find a niche and you know go after it but I'm not really worried about doing that because I'm not really worried about this being like a business it's more through my personal brand I've come uh, well through my life and my team will back me up on this I, I tend to create like a lot of inspiration for people the way I live my life uh, my perspective of things uh, the amount of like work I do on myself uh, in, in all directions, whether it's like physical, mental, emotional. Um, I study psychology. I study various like forms of spirituality. Uh, I study various modalities of like physical movement and fitness, nutrition. Uh, business is obviously one. I've created, I don't know, at least like a dozen multi-million dollar businesses. And um, yeah, like so all kinds of different shit is really what I have as a brand and as a person to talk about. And we're just gonna go throw it all out there. And we can kind of section off different pieces in order to attack different niches or whatever, but really it's, again, it's not about that. It's more about just like getting me out there as a person. Um, and we're, we think we're gonna find just kind of a, a pretty strong filing for, ver for following for various things. I mean, but ultimately it's gonna be people that are just inspired by it. And in doing so, a, a big chunk of why I'm doing this is because this will inspire me to even be more accountable to these things that I'm investing in. So like, for example, like one thing that we would follow is I just started a vocal cord training course, um, hair, Bristow or something like that. So I just started this yesterday. Point there is that I speak a lot either through selfie videos to the team. And obviously as we build personal brand, I'll be doing a lot more selfie videos in general. And then also we use uh, Voxer, which is a voice message app. Uh, a lot so like I am speaking a fuck ton throughout the day hours and hours and hours even though I mostly like spend most of my time by myself um, so honestly like I already I'm kind of like fighting laryngitis right now I had it pretty bad last week all from just like over speaking and it's because I speak from right here I need to learn how to speak from down here but you know that's like one little thing that we could follow and like build story around and you know build around my personal brand a little bit so Anyway, going back to this role and how I really see it being played out. Ultimately, like you and I, we, we would basically have to be friends. So you would have to learn a bit about me before accepting this role. I would have to learn a bit about you. And we would have to basically agree and be 
you're like, yeah, I mean, I would actually have fun spending time with this dude. Uh, you know, so you talk to me, I, I don't care if you're a dude or a chick, whatever. Um, spending time with this dude, you know, throughout the day, because ultimately it's not like, it's, we're not gonna have something structured. It's like I said, it's not a photo shoot with some kind of specific purpose or anything like that. It's more just spending time together. Uh, you know, hopefully you have like some other work that you're doing. So like bring your laptop over to my villa, you know, we'd be working anytime there's like, Hey, do you want to go to the gym? Let's go to the gym. All right, let's go to the gym. You'll be doing your workout. I'll be doing mine, but you know, you'll be taking a little bit of time to capture content whenever you think it's worthwhile. Um, so, you know, on that note, on like the physical stuff, I do, I do yoga, I do Tai Chi, uh, Qigong. In fact, I'll be doing a lot of Qigong. I'm going to do a Qigong and Tai Chi retreat up in Munduk, the, the mountains. Uh, with uh, my teacher, that'll be a private thing. So that could be something that you could come to. If, uh, if it makes sense for you to do so, I'll get you a room. Um, I'll be doing also with my teacher, uh, a separate uh, event up in, I forget the name of the area. It's, it's about two hours north of Seminyak. My, my villa is gonna be in Seminyak. Um, Fuck, I, yeah, I can't, I can't remember, but it's like a much more quiet, much more clean place. I've actually never been there, but my teacher is like loves it. He's a he's a older guy, he's a, like a 55 year old British guy, but surfer, um, totally good vibes. So like, gonna spend four or five days up there again. If that's that would probably be a great place actually to get random content because it's only gonna be about two hours a day of class, and then just like the rest of it's gonna be you know fucking off and doing whatever in like you know beautiful beautiful area of Bali. I think there's like hot springs around. Uh, oh fuck, massages. I'll be getting massages every day. Uh, I can definitely treat you to some massages as well. Um, in fact, I've, I've done that sometimes where, you know, if we're sharing a room, being able to like pinball ideas, like I get, one of the reasons why I love massages so much is I get really, really healthy minded thinking, uh, lots of creative ideas, uh, problem solving, um, or just like funny ass shit that goes on in my head, you know, whatever. So, uh, and like going out to like get meals together, you know, gathering content along those lines. So it's it's really about just like, that, that's why my team's saying it's like, dude, basically you just need an Instagram girlfriend, you know, some, some girl to like live day to day with. That is, you know, gathering content along the way. But again, it's it's not, I'm not we're not we're not being literal with that. Again, dude, chick, doesn't matter. Um, but we would have to basically feel comfortable that like we would be becoming friends at the same time. So, yeah, I guess to tell you a little bit more about me, like music, I'm really into house, techno. Uh, I know that's pretty broad, but you know, if you're into house and techno, we'll probably find some commonalities there. Um, I do like to go out and party. I don't know how much that I'll be doing uh, this time out in Bali, probably like every now and then. I use partying as a pattern interrupt whenever I'm kind of just like getting a little too sucked in to a specific project or just kind of like feeling antsy or if I haven't socialized in a while. Then uh, I'll go out and like hit a club or, or something like that, maybe a beach party. So like that would also be a good opportunity to hang out and then also gather content along the way. Um, yeah, right, so like the way I, the way I really like picture my days being spent, it's it's like really healthy morning routine, which is like some movement. Uh, I, I don't have a structured morning routine. It's more about just like setting a, setting aside like the first hour or two of the day to just like you know no screens, no notifications, just me time. Involves movement, involves breath work, meditation, can involve creative writing. Um, actually, so if there's going to be screens, sometimes it's like watching like YouTube videos on, it could be Taoism, Stoicism, uh, Qigong, Nagong, uh, various like meditation type stuff. Yeah, that's like a good medium for me through which I learn this kind of stuff. So yeah, obviously like tons and tons of healthy food eating. Um, Gym, beach, spend a lot of time at the beach. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, the spa, yeah, definitely like massages, massages galore. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> basically like <clears throat> this stuff has to sound like pretty sweet to you or else this isn't gonna be a great fit. And then ultimately, like who we recruit here for this doesn't necessarily have to be this, doesn't have to be anything more than just this, this Bali trip. But uh, the bigger vision is to find a person or maybe a couple people that we would actually like do these trips with elsewhere as well, like have this dynamic with elsewhere as I travel to other places. So I'd probably take a couple you know, different people in order to do this, but like, you know, like I'm in, I'm in Puerto Rico right now. 
Want to go to Puerto Rico? Okay, cool. Let's go to Puerto Rico and, and do the same kind of shit. Um, so that kind of thing. And ultimately, like, this could be even a full-time job if you wanted it to be. You could, you know, join the, the Noveo team full-time. Uh, for that to be the case, like, you'd have to be bringing ancillary skills to the table. Uh, I would imagine it would probably be something in social media, but, you know, probably even just, like, general marketing and, and stuff like that. So, you know, that's something that we'll want to talk about before recruiting. Um, <clears throat> and, like, for the travel team in general, so... Again, this doesn't apply to Bali because Bali has this already, it provides this. But when I'm traveling like here in Puerto Rico, like the, the food kind of sucks. I mean, it's like, it's, it's delicious, but it's not very healthy. Uh, so like when I'm in Puerto Rico, I'd like to have a, a, like a private chef um, and also like a personal assistant because it's not easy to acquire stuff too easy. There's no like grocery delivery and, and shit like that. Uh, and then a massage therapist, like the massaging here really isn't, like the spas here, really not that great uh, so, so much that I've explored and again that's pretty important so like building a little bit of a travel team of like the personal assistant uh, private chef massage therapist um, and again like this this content uh, curator I guess we could call it content gatherer content curator uh, with you know hopefully that wouldn't be like four different people it would be as few people as possible that are skilled in all these different things but that's like that's like on the bigger picture right now we're really talking about the Bali experience specifically and all that all, all we really need for that is this uh, this content curator, the storyteller. Um, so really what you need to be bringing to the table is to have a really expansive mind for the type of content that we would want to gather because of all the different ways that we could use it. So like long-winded speaking, kind of like this, <clears throat> could get chopped up for YouTube videos. If we can take little excerpts of it, it could be used for Reels, TikTok, uh, Instagram Reels, whatever. Um, just the audio might be able to get used for like podcasting. Um, yeah, you know, shit like that. And then <clears throat> ultimately we want to be creating the content for what we're calling Brand Brandon. That's the internal project name of building my personal brand, uh, Brand Noveo. So we haven't even, like, we don't even, I think we just, we have an Instagram account, but we have never even done a single post for it. So building content for that. So in order for you to be um, you'd have to like learn more about Noveo, what the vision is, the what, like the, the who, what, when, where, why of Noveo to figure out like what, what we'd want to gather for that. Um, <clears throat> oh, the brands. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> All the product brands. So, yeah, we have natural skincare brands, uh, healthy sweeteners like stevia, monk fruit, shit like that, dietary supplements, tea, all kinds of stuff. And like I actually use my own products. So we'll be wanting to gather content of that, both like stuff like you know doing photo shoots of the products in cool places like the beach and you know beautiful areas of Bali but also you know content of me using it even like if you can capture it organically where it's not staged like even better and so for that those are the reasons why like we would actually be like needing to spend time together and that's why it'd be more like you're gonna have your own thing going about your own day and we'd be looking for overlap throughout the day you know if you work from a laptop I assume you do you know you would be working like in my villa with me or at a cafe or wherever we feel like working and basically like, you know, just kind of like keep an eye on me just from time to time, just like figure out some reason to, to capture content kind of thing. And everything is very, very flexible, like build around your schedule, not, not mine. I'm just going to go and live about my day and then your schedule can align with it. However, um, my villa is actually going to be pretty sweet. So, uh, fuck, it's four, I'm be there by myself and it's four bedrooms. I actually feel pretty wasteful, but I wanted a place that's gonna be quiet because we're gonna need to do a lot of videos. So I didn't want like motorbikes and roosters and shit like that, street dogs all barking and shit. So, um, yeah, I mean like, fuck, if we want to do like late night shit or early morning shit, like morning routine, I mean, there's even extra bedrooms, that, that kind of thing. So, yeah, anything else to cover here? I don't know, I'll pause. Let me see what I think of more. All right, no, I think I pretty much covered it all. So, I mean, next steps is for you to do a selfie video back so I can pick up on your vibe. And basically, no structure to that. Just, you know, introduce yourself. Um, tell me what your vision is for yourself. What do you got going on? What are you into? What did I speak in this 20 minute long video that resonated with you? Whether it's uh, just the Bali side things, whether it's the, the traveling around the different areas. Did I name any areas that your ears specifically picked up on? Um, is full time something that that you'd be interested in like where you're actually going to join the Noveo team and um you know what what other skills do you have that 
you would think would benefit uh, what I've what you've learned so far from these two videos. Uh, yeah, let's so let's just start with that. Create a selfie video. Let me know your vibe. Let me know your interests, your vision for yourself, all that stuff. Uh, I, give me an idea of like what your rate is. You know, we're we're talking. You know, like could be could be whatever. Like, give me give me a rate. I'm not gonna like negotiate you down or anything like that. But it's definitely gonna come into play. You know, I'm expecting to get a lot of uh, a lot of people replying to this because it is gonna be pretty sweet. So you know, give me an eye of what you an idea of what you'd be looking for. Uh, and I don't really know how to break that down because it'll be like, you know, some days we might spend like 14 hours together just hanging out. Some days it could be like, hey, I just want to go to the beach and shoot a little bit there. Okay, cool. So just give me an idea, I guess. Oh, and of course, whatever questions you have, uh, bring bring as many questions as you have about me, about Naveo, about the role, about whatever. So I think that covers it. Cool? Cool. Look forward to meeting you. Toodles.